Welcome to the latest edition of Mr. Bailey's Word of the Week on WNN, the Word Nerd Network. Thank you for joining us for today's show. I am Oprah Winfrey. Many of you may know me as the former queen of daytime TV. What you don't know is I am also the queen of word nerds. I may have retired from my show, but I have chosen Mr. Bailey's Word of the Week for my big comeback special. The hype and hoopla surrounding this show is simply phenomenal. Joining me in our brand new studio for the Word of the Week is comedian Jerry Seinfeld. Welcome Jerry. Oprah, thank you for having me. Anytime Jerry. Now, before we get started with our show, I understand you are here to talk with us about something near and dear to you. Why don't you tell us about that, Jerry? What are you here to talk to us all about? Nothing, Oprah. Nothing? Absolutely, positively nothing. You mean to tell me that you, Jerry Seinfeld, came on the Oprah Winfrey Word of the Week premiere to talk about absolutely, positively nothing? I have to tell you, I am flabbergasted by your antics. That is correct. I have come on your show to talk about absolutely, positively nothing. What did you expect from me, Oprah? It is me, Jerry Seinfeld. Talking about nothing is what I do best. I am phenomenal at talking about nothing. I never thought I would say this, but you have me completely discombobulated right now. Those little word nerds are ravenous, or starving for new words. They will be livid if we do not share with them a fresh new word every week lickety split. Alright then, I guess I will give the kiddos what they came for. The new word of the week is nothing. Nothing? Nothing. 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 Oh, now I get it. By saying the word nothing over and over again, you must be dropping hints. The new word of the week must be monotonous, which means something that is boring because it is the same thing over and over, and over, and over, and over. Right? Nope. You are making me live it, Jerry. I wish you would just stop pestering us all and give us the new word of the week. Quit your lollygagging, mister. And there it is. There what is? The new word of the week, pester. As my good old buddy Will Ferrell says, you have just been bamboozled by my shenanigans. Bamboozled? Pure genius Jerry. All that talking about nothing was just to pester me and uncover the new word of the week. Thanks, Oprah. Pester is indeed the new word of the week and is a word that we can all relate to and use almost every day, especially those with younger brothers and sisters. We all know those little whippersnappers can pester the living daylights out of us at times. Pester means to annoy or bother someone in a repeated way. Believe it or not, the word pester was first used in the year. Wait for it. Wait for it. The year 1533. It is actually almost 500 years old. If you do the math, this word is almost older than the old cantankerous word nerd Larry King. Other synonyms for pester include bug, disturb, aggravate, annoy, hassle, irk, torment, provoke, antagonize, or perturb. You really are the queen of word nerds. Of course I am. I am Oprah Winfrey and I can do anything. By the way a special thanks goes out to Journey and Mr. Landers class for giving Mr. Bailey such a fabulous word. Let's hear it for Journey everybody. Wow. It is complete and total pandemonium in here. What a great audience you have. Yes I do. Because of that, 
I would like to announce exclusively today that each and every audience member in attendance will be receiving a very special gift. Gift? What is it? Absolutely, positively nothing. Nothing? Nothing but amazingly new and interesting words like pester. They are the gifts that keep on giving. Keep on searching high and low, up and down, inside and out for the latest and greatest words for use on the Word of the week.